back to my youtube channel so today we are going to make this vintage glam makeup look inspired by retro pinup or you can say inspired by 40s 50s vintage makeup look but for today i try to tone the look a little bit more so that it is more appropriate for like let's say prom night or anything any even like that so you can wear it these days as well so i try to tone it down a little bit as you can see from my look today i give myself that proper vintage kind of vibe by wearing this makeup red lip this gloves this head this bun like i just wanted to take you guys back on time to that vintage 40s 50s days so yeah that's what i try to do so guys if you want to know how to create this gorgeous vintage glam look then make sure to stay with me and continue watching this video i already moisturized my face with a moisturizer and now i'm gonna prime my face with revelation hydrate primer this is how it is on those time people used to not really prime they used to use vaseline and they used to put a layer of vaseline and then they apply their makeup which i really can't dare to do so so i am using primer okay so today in this video i'm actually going to test a new product or it's actually not new but new to this channel new to me and which is juvia's palace foundation and i haven't tried it i didn't get a chance to try it so today i'm going to try and this is their i am magic foundation in the shade what is my shade though tanzir tanzir i am not sure i'm pronouncing it correct or no don't come for me but it is uh in the shade 520 i'm also hoping that it is a correct match for me oh it is actually a little bit lighter that's fine actually because anyway i wanted to go for a foundation that is one or two shade lighter than my skin tone because those days women used to use really lighter shade than their skin tone so that's gonna be perfect i'm just taking my foundation into a beauty sponge what i always do and then i'm just going to apply it in my face wow i think i took a lot of product okay that's too much but they're gonna make it work and anyway on those 40s 50s time the girls used to wear a lot of makeup lots of makeup means i don't mean tinted moisturizer or a little bit of eyeliner no they used to really wear a lot of makeup so that you know they can stand out for a competition because those time the girls were more than guys so there was a huge competition like girl really needed to look pretty so they used to wear a lot of makeup so today also we are going to wear a lot of lots of makeup now for the concealer i'm using stay naked concealer from orbini k in the shade 50 wy and then i'm just going to apply the concealer under my eyes i'm going to take the concealer all the way till here so that I can really brighten up that area to give it much more focus why I will tell you later on in this video so just bear with me okay I'm actually applying concealer where I normally do all right and then I'm just going to blend the concealer Okay, so concealer is completely blended and now to set the concealer, I'm using actually Anastasia setting powder in the shade Banana and I'm just going to set it under my eye Alright, now I'm a proper ghost but we'll have a time to fix it Alright, now before I set the rest of my face, I want to do my eyebrow I want my eyebrow to be really really defined and thin because those time really defined and thin eyebrow used to be really popular and they also used to do it all the way down here but we are not going to exactly follow them because as i told you i tone it down a little bit the whole look just to make it much more wearable so we will do as much as we can all right so i am going to draw and 
then I'm going to fill the bra really really good like I'm really gonna feel it because this is what they used to do and also one important thing to keep in mind that when you are doing your eyebrow you want to keep that front side really really have like that round shape you want to have that round shape so this is what they used to do so I want to do that too Alright guys, so here is the complete eyebrow look. It is really really defined, thin, tall, and at the same time completely filled. So I'm just gonna quickly do my this eyebrow. Alright guys, so after eyebrow done, I'm using the same setting powder from Anastasia and I'm going to set kind of all over my face and at the same time going to brush off any excess powder from my under eye. So just like that alright guys now for my eyes I'm going to use Huda Beauty palette I'm not going to do a lot of things in my eye because I want my focus to be in my lips my blush and my eyebrow as I told you and as they used to do but I want that eye look to be really really that sexy sleepy kind of look to start off I'm going to take this color from this palette and tap all the excess as possible and now I'm going to focus just in my crease i'm not going to go above of my crease too much i will try as much down as i can stay so i'm just gonna focus in the crease and also down and then the same thing i'm going to do for my other eye Alright guys, as you can see, I didn't take above of my crease that much, I just stayed in my crease. Now, I'm taking really a defined brush, really like thin defined brush and this is from Sigma and this is their E45 brush. And I'm taking a little bit this dark shade, just a little and I'm exactly, exactly focusing just right in the crease. Not gonna blend much, just to define that area slightly more same thing for this eye too and that's pretty it and if anything need to be done I'm gonna do after I draw my eyeliner and also about eyeliner you really want to draw that very very thin tall wing line because this one was really really focused like popular focus and you don't want to draw the line like straight no you want to go up high like this just straight like this and then straight line inside so to do that I'm just You see how tall and thin it is? Exactly, this is how you want to draw your eyeliner. So, I think that's completely perfect, really sharp and thin. So, same thing here as well. Alright guys, so it's completely perfect right now. And now for my face, okay, those days they used to not go for any kind of bronzer or contour, right, or a blush, because blush was the most popular thing those days. But, for <laughs> sake of this look and to make it wearable i'm going to use a little bit blush um, i mean contouring not actually contouring i'm going to just kind of bronze my face a little bit and i'm going to take a lighter shade from this kat von d palette this is their contour palette i'm going to take this shade right here and i'm going to slightly bronze my face nothing too much now about blush those days it used to be really popular to have that pinkish 
blushy like super blushy kind of cheek they used to put a lot of blush to just to make them more pretty and actually it used to work so today I'm using this blush this is from Colourpop and this is their Kiss of Rock blush this is from the Disney collection and they used to apply it in here not what we do these days like we go as mm, what is called I don't know so we nowadays we apply it this way but they used to focus only in this cheek like when you smile or love this place and the apple of your cheek and it used to be really really round shape so this is exactly what I'm going to do I'm just going to apply the apple of my cheek and apply in a round motion I don't know why I feel like it is still not enough <laughs> okay and then I'm just taking a powder blush blush powder brush and just kind of brushing above of that blush so I can blend it a little bit and it's not weird all right now it's completely perfect all right now next for highlight also about highlight they used to not wear lots of highlight if you notice you will see that their most of their look is matte kind of look so they used to not wear but we are going to use a tiny bit like a little bit of highlight all right so i'm just gonna highlight a little bit not a lot a little bit my here a little bit here Little my nose, my hair, and also center of my forehead. Okay, so you can see I didn't use a lot of highlight. Now for my lips, oops, something dropped. For my lipstick, of course, I'm going for a red lip. Those days, red lip, dark lip used to be so popular. As I told you, they really focus on the lip and the blush and the eyes. So we are going for red lip as well. Today, my lip is really, really dry and crusty. As you can see, it's really in horrible situation. Oh my God, guys, I completely forgot to complete my eyes. How can I forget that? All right, guys, so for eyes, I'm not going to apply anything under my eye because I want that to look really fresh and nothing there. I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara just because this is what they used to do. So I'm just going to put mascara to my eyelash, of course. And then at the same time, I'm going to apply a very little bit under my eye. and that's it all right now for my lashes i'm going to use eyelash from color pop this one so how you want to apply your eyelash extension so normally we apply from inside and then we will just apply like okay exactly our eye size but in this case you want to keep more extension outside of your eye so you want to keep more here like more here so that you can give your eye that sexy sleepy kind of look that they used to have so this is what exactly i'm going to do all right so as i told you focus from outside all right just like that can you see my eyelash supposed to my eye finish here but i put my eyelash from here so this is exactly what you want to do so i'm gonna do the same thing for this eye too so i'm gonna go really really all right guys so my eyelash is on point now i want to use a white eyeliner it's not actually white it's more to off-white so i want to use it in my waterline so it's gonna make my eye look much more bigger and sexier <laughs> so i'm just gonna do this and also in this eye all right guys now back to lips so for a lip, as I told you, I'm going to use red color. So I'm actually going to mix two red color and both are from Colourpop. So I'm going to mix them together. Oh my God, I don't know why my eyes are having itchy after I use this 
eyeliner. Whoa, it's making me cry. <laughs> so one red color is really bright neon kind of red and another one is a little bit dark. So I'm just going to mix them together to get that exact color. Alright guys, so perfect lipstick also on so now we left with only setting spray I don't think so I don't know also that they used to use setting spray or not but we are going to do it so I'm using this setting spray just because I used a lot of powder in my face so I really want that powdery, powdery feeling to go away so that's the reason that I'm going to use my setting spray so Perfect. Okay guys, so before anything else, I'm just gonna fix my hair a little bit and wear some accessories to give this look that exact vintage kind of vibe. So, let's do some magic. Alright guys, so now I feel that exact vintage vibe. I'm literally feeling that rich, delightful, elegant feeling right now. So what do you guys think about this complete outlook, makeup, outfit? this hate man you cannot even see it good so you have really really that gorgeous thingy going on right here oh my god I love it what do you guys think do you guys love it only one thing is missing you know they used to hold that cigarette holder that is like tall like a stick oh I can do something yeah I can use my makeup brush hmm. what a creative thought so now it is just perfect all right guys so that's the complete look i hope you guys really really enjoyed this look all right babe so if you like this 40s 50s kind of vintage look then please please do like this video and also subscribe to my channel i will really appreciate it i will really appreciate it and at the same time if you are not following me in my instagram then please 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 do follow me and guys thank you so much for joining me today and thank you so 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 much if you stayed with me till the end i really really appreciate it all right guys so we are going to end this video and i'm actually so sad because i have to take off this makeup after i finish this video i just don't want to do it but i have to do it anyway guys so stay safe stay good and i'll see you guys in my next upcoming video bye bye